But you know, Rosie, she said to me, Lester, this lady from America, she's in a big hurry, and she needs to go places. And you, Lester, are the best person to take the lady. So I give up all my other jobs, and I take you to see Mr. Vati. <laughs> Christine. Bye, Lester. Mr. Vardy? Hello? I could hardly believe I was finally here in a place beyond imagination. Its beauty so untamed, it filled me with uncertainty, but also with a wonderful new hope. Oh, Mr. John Paris down there. I'm Elmond. Oh, hi, I'm Christine Shea. Nice hi, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Uh, excuse me, I sort of made myself at home here. I didn't know when you were coming back, so. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure. Mr. Vardy. Yeah. Hi, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Christine Shea. Hi, call me JV. JV. You did get my fax, didn't you, that I was coming about the program? Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't realize it was so soon. Oh, well, uh, I hope you don't mind. I made myself at home. These are wonderful pictures of the leopards. Yeah, this is the mother we've been following for 12 years. Oh, they're gorgeous. You want some tea? Tea would be great. Thank you. Um, strong, no milk, two sugars? Okay. Do you love it, tea? I do love it. 
Take a seat. Make yourself at home. Ah, oh, thank you. There certainly is some place you've got here. It's not exactly what I'd imagined. Said you have a good trip? Well, it's been quite an experience. Uh, took a little longer than I expected. You know, I've seen many of your films. They're really great. Really special. Tea for you. Oh, thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Mm, some kind of herbal tea, huh? Well, Mr. Vardy, JV, I would like you to help me make a film about Africa. I figure with your knowledge of Africa, you'd be the best person to help. Did you see Out of Africa? Mm-mm. Well, anyway, I want our program to be a bit like that. A romance with Africa. The mystical continent. You know, they're making pretty pictures about the romance of Africa all the time. I, I can't help you with that. If you want to make the real issues, that's another step. Jeffy. What do you say? Uh, he says, uh, how's the tea? <laughs> All that to say that, huh? It's great, thank you. Look, why don't you just take a look at the script? I'm sure you'll have some ideas. Come on, we're going to check it out. You want me to come? You want me to come yeah, yeah, let's go. All right. Take this set, why it's too bright. Okay. I found me, man. Let me say Penny Jam. Oh, yeah, but you're the young. Then what? Down the door. Hello. Who was that? Sounds like leopards fighting. Vanilla Manala, yeah, you know. Yeah, I told you. Queen. Let's go. I'm a book. Can we do something? Yeah, can't interfere. Why are they fighting? This leopard has invaded the mother's territory. Or Limazil. She's injured. Ilya, Ilya, it's one of the worst territorial fights I've seen. Uh, is she going to be okay? Yeah, I think so. I think she's okay. About the film. JV, are you awake? This is a den that she's used about five weeks ago. But, uh, looks like she's left. I should call, eh? I should call. My book is shaven. Leo, come on, Leo. Fanel. Jeffy, you got it. You got it. Light. Well, 
This is about as big as you'll see in Africa. Wow, they're amazing. These are the two dominant males of the area. Magnificent. Jeffy, Jeffy, I'm a liar, my dear. I'm a liar, my dear. I can't see a liar. Okay, let's go find the cut. Them for a day or two. Depends how soon she can get some food. And then I'll run away? No, no, stay here on the rocks. See the one slightly bigger? It's a little male. It's a bit bolder as well. <laughs> Stay here too long. I want the mother to catch us here at the den. Anyway, I've got something else to show you. This is the mother that we followed for 12 years. When we first saw her, she was elusive, aggressive, and very difficult to follow, just like any other wild leopard. Then gradually she relaxed, allowing us into her private world. She's a very successful mother, and has allowed us to film no less than nine of her litters of cubs. No other human being has had such a close relationship with a wild leopard before. Well, this is her moving one of the fifth letter to another den, which she does every few days to lessen the chances of lion and hyena finding and killing them. Well, here you see sarptic mange, which leopards sometimes contract. It's a tiny parasite which attacks the skin and the fur and most often results in death. All predators are competing for food and space and will immediately kill the cubs of another predator if they find them. Uh, this is the saddest moment we ever shared with her. She attacked the lions, saved the one cub, but the other was killed. It was incredible. She ate parts of the dead cub and then buried the rest in the Meshoben. Even though we'd been part of every aspect of her life, it took us seven years before we were able to film her mating. We've really shared her life in many ways. We've slept out at kills with her, We've watched her cubs grow up and have cubs of their own. And for all of us, it's been a great spiritual experience. Almost like a love affair, just to be part of her life. She was the most beautiful animal I had ever seen. I understood why John and Elman were so dedicated to her. The more I learned about her life, the clearer it became to me that it was her story that had to be told. Now it was just a matter of getting the green light from Dan. Your trip. It was great. Did anything come in for me? This just came. Oh, cool. Hi. Thank you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad you're back. Jack is driving me crazy. This will shut him up. Let's go to work. Okay. And I want to hear all about this. The black rhino populations of Africa continue on the road to oblivion. 
a species which has been around for six to five million years, has in the last decade been brought to the brink of extinction. Man's greed and populations continue unharnessed. This is some of the footage that he shot over the, the years. Of extinction of bird, I thought you were going to come up with something light, something entertaining. <laughs> we put this on, it's death. It's depressing. Nobody wants to see it. Besides, they can see it on the 6 o'clock news. What we need is something special. Exactly, Jack. And this is special. Vardy lives in a tree out in the middle of the bush. He spends his entire life filming wildlife. He's dedicated the last 12 years to following a single female leopard through eight litters of cubs. He's captured on film some of the most spectacular leopard footage ever shot. And to top it all off, she now has two new cubs that I've had the privilege of meeting. There's a great story here. Not bad, Chris. Not bad at all. I want to see a budget and a full proposal. Thank you. First thing in the morning to find him. Okay.
มาโซ่กว่าละเจ้าอุ้ยเจ้าก็สวยเนี่ย For me, she had always been the ultimate survivor. For 12 years, she had been my strength, my inspiration. Perhaps I'd even believed she was invincible. The lions had cornered her many times in the past, but the years had suddenly taken their toll. She was no longer as agile, and nature allows for no weakness. For so many years, we had shared her triumphs, her sorrows. She was my soulmate, and now she was dying. I'm trying to bring it down. Dan, uh, I had Valerie do some groundwork on this Varney character. He's a bit of a loose cannon. Never really brought anything in on time. Probably doesn't know the meaning of the word budget. Oh, come on, Jack. Well, Chris, don't get me wrong. I'm on your side. It's just that I don't want to have to come in and clean up when, excuse me, if things get out of control. What are you getting at, Jack? Can you deliver this time? Okay, Jack, we get the point. And everyone knows that what happened with the last project was not entirely Christine's fault. But this is the kind of project we really need. It's different. Different. It's high profile. It's the kind of thing that can pull us back up. Yes, sir. But it's up to you, Christine. I'm not going to babysit you on this project. Henry, you've been out there. You know the territory. You know this guy, Bart. You know what I need. This project means a lot to me. I'm counting on you, kid. Uh, yes, Mr. Vardy. Walker. Where is the kitty lover? I'm going to go to the Gotta find those cubs, Alma. Got it.
Ah, they're not here. I'll skip it. Your father. Kale was some in the lab, Alan. Yeah, can I pick up whatever now? I'm not doing so. Elmon went to ask the spirits where we might find the cubs, while I poured over my maps which plotted her territorial boundaries and favoured den sites. Come on. Come look here. I think I've got it. Vaughn. He come to see the house. Kale, the big Levana, he took one in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jani, I'm going to show you. Come and see the shine. La Marge. Come. La, la, la. Don't go to come. Come and be. It's in peace. I'm going to the park. I'm going to see my god. I saw Pia Lomo go. Take a noga. I can't say that. Yeah, come back. 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 Come Coca food. Okay. Come. Yeah, come here, come here. Take it. Come and see my food. Yeah. Then Sati. She wants Sati, she wants Nuna. Hey, Jimmy, how are you doing? <laughs>
Okay. Long time no see. Yeah, good. Good, good. What's that for? I got some baby leopards. Huh? Yeah, lions killed the mother. Oh, poor Yeah, a couple of weeks old. They're doing well. Huh? Yeah, this is good stuff, they tell me. And you? Problems with the poaching? Ah, you know me. I'm still as fast. Ah, that's good. And the camp, where's the camp now? Ah, it's five miles south from me. Uh-huh, on the river, eh? Yeah, you know me. Okay. Okay. Talan, yeah? Hello, is that Global Explorer? Ah, uh, Pamba guys, eh? Yeah. Is Christine Shea there by any chance? She's not in right now. Can I take a message? Yeah, tell her I have found the cubs. That's leopard cubs. Can I give her a number so she can call you back? No, unfortunately, I'm at Londolozi in a remote part of South Africa. Just tell her JV phoned and see that she gets that message. Oh, Mr. Vardy. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll tell her you called. Have a nice day. Bye. Well, I'm not quite sure how to put it. Why don't you just say it, Chris? Um, I just got word that the mother leopard is dead. That's for Christine. I'm headed that way. I'm not even sure what happened. But I was thinking that we still have a strong story if we can find her cubs. I've been trying to get a hold of JV to see if they're still alive. You know, I've really stuck my neck out on this project. I know you have, sir. My uh, screening's at 3.30. Hope I'm not interrupting. No. Come in, Jerry. The leopard's dead. Oh, no. And I don't know if this company could survive another failed project. I realize that. Um, but what the mother leopard does is she moves her cubs from den to den. I'm sure it's a matter of time before JV finds them. With all due respect, Christine, you been sure of a lot of things in the past. Look, Jack, we already have 12 years of leopard footage that we can work with. Stock footage for an entire program? You must be kidding. Christine, all you have to offer is one dead leopard. All we have is one dead project. Please, Mr. Walker, just give me a few weeks and I can work something out. You've got one week, Chris. Thank you. Look what I've got for you. Give me a kilo. One pretty boy. My sister. That's the daughter, man. And I'm gonna go. Little toughy, eh? Little toughy. Hey. Drink it, don't bite the bottle. That's my girl. That's my girl. Oh, it's the daughter, man. I sure is, yes. I'll see you fam. Okay, let's go for a walk. Come on. Walk now. Come in. Come on, sister. Smoke. Hello. Is this the Hazy View Hotel? Yeah. Can you help me, please? Yeah, I have to get a hold of JV, okay? John Vardy. Does anyone know where he is? Has he left any messages? Uh, okay. Look, if you do speak to him, tell him it's very important that I talk to him. Uh-huh. 
Thank you. Okay, bye. bye. So I am left in the difficult position of having to hand raise her two orphan cubs with the intention of reintroducing them into the wilds. Hi, right, come on. I believe your office is responsible for issuing such permits, and I would appreciate your cooperation in this regard. Marty! Over here! Marty! Mr. Van Yeah. Hi. We received your letter. Unfortunately, we are unable to process your request. Unless you make a formal application. Uh, yeah, what's the problem? Take a seat. Well, there have been some complaints. Like from who? <laughs> it's not our policy to divulge that information. This animal should really be kept in a cage. What if one wanders off and takes someone's domestic cattle? Ah, oh, come on, come on. Uh, you know it's a proclaimed game reserve here. There's no stop for miles. Off the record, I agree with you. But the law is quite clear on the issue of the hand raising of wild animals. They must be kept securely contained in a cage or enclosure. Failing which, they will be destroyed. So, under your rules, they're going to end up in a filthy zoo, pacing up and down. With me, they got a chance of running free. We are on the same side, Mr. Larty, but my hands are tied. Perhaps I can... So... Look, son. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Come on, give me the hat. Don't miss the funny hat. Hold on. Hey. Give me a hat. Come with it, animal man. Give me the hat. Not got rabies. I'm afraid this will have to go in my report, Mr. Varty. Give me the hat. Go ahead. Mr. Varty, I would recommend you make a plan in a hurry. For the best, you know. Here is your applications. These animals should not be running wild. Great PR job you did. Yeah. It's a tortoise, sister. Up the tortoise. Come on. Sister. Yes, sister. Yeah, go. Yeah. Oh, oh. Come on. You got another roll? No more from stop. Ah, come on. Get the shot in the sand. Like a cat? Not even a cat. Come on. How can you work like this? Why not follow a fond uh, Christine Billy Mosto? A beautiful shot. Sir, the Maganjan. Indeed. Hi, Christine. JV here. I'm getting really worried because these cubs are getting big now. And um, I can just feel this project starting to slip away. I got a fantastic sequence um, of them taking some fish out of the. Ah! You monster! 
Oh, that was a cub just bit me on the toe. Okay. Anyway, they caught these fish in the drying pool, and um, then I lost, uh, the, the camera broke, and I had to send that in for two weeks. But please, let me know one way or the other, because this is a fantastic project, and uh, we've got to get going now. And uh, how about a squeeze the plaza? How does that sound to you, huh? Oh, yeah, very fast, baby. Jack, will you excuse us, Valerie? Pam said she gave you the message. What message? I just got this fax. The cubs are already on meat. JV found them weeks ago. You go tell Dan that what we have is no longer a dead project. So long, Jack. Jeffers went to uh, Hesevi this morning to ask him to get a permit. Permit? For what? Oh, for the leopard. <gasps> oh, I lost the babies. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> OK, can I get to it? Yeah, be careful. Let me go closer. OK. Oh, God, she's so pretty. Look at her little face. Oh, man, it's so good <laughs> to be back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See can you. I get you? Yo, let's be careful with the claw. That's the hooky. <laughs> I'm hooked already. <laughs> hey, little Life. But I can't wait to see what you've been getting. Hey, Just mind that's negative. Negative? What are you doing keeping the negative here? Uh, storage at the lab is so expensive. Well, I can see we've got some sorting out to do. Uh, hey, 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 come here, come here. Leave hey. the film alone. Hey. Come here. Bring back my phone. Come, little boy. Come, girly. We're gonna watch our movie stars. Ah, you see now, look how this is just pure instinct. How he hoists that hair straight up the trees. Never seen his mother do that. Ah, this is a great shot. These catfish were trapped in this uh, muddy pool. Ah, look at that. Ah, beautiful. So adorable. You see, this is all training for later life. <laughs> They don't call him the perfect predator for nothing, you know. These guys can survive on anything. Little cub and he catches his fish, no problem. Yeah, claws, teeth, everything will cut. <laughs> That's great, he's got it down. Off he goes. Call. Jimmy! 
Stevens, what are you doing here? I'm here for those rhino ones you promised me. Hey, man. You should not be seen in this office. Relax, man. I'm here for an import-export permit. Listen, I've got a definite buyer. Not for... here, not here. I have got a buyer for those two cubs. What are these cubs? Oh, this is good. Great. Okay, move in a little bit closer. All right. That's a boy. Great. That's a boy. Okay, you get a close up and I'll get the two of you in frames. What a great shot. Oh, this is perfect. I've got both of you. <laughs> he wants his own close up. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Hi, Elma. I've got my son here, T.D. Oh, great. Hi, T.D. Hi. <laughs> Go say hi. Go say hi to them. Hello, sister. Where's your brother? Come, brother. Come, come, come. And then I'll be in the eh? Mr. Varte. Hello. I'm looking for Mr. Varte. Well, he's not here right now, but maybe I can help you. I'm Christine Shea. Van Heerden, Wildlife Management. Where, where is Varte? I'm not sure. Can I make you some tea? Uh, no, thanks. You know, he may be a while. Do you want me to just tell him that you came by? Well, it's not that simple. Where, uh, where are the cubs? The cubs? Yeah, the leopard cubs. Oh, those cubs. And what other cubs? Are you sure I can't help you? It's a very delicate matter. It's about the permit applications. You mean a permit for the cubs? I think I better wait for Mr. Varty. There is a big problem. Oh. Oh, then you must have not heard. Not heard what? It was awful. They, uh, they were killed. By lions. The cubs? Yeah, both of them. Oh, it was just so sad. Tragic, really. And, um, and JV. Oh, JV's been acting so strange ever since. You know, he, he disappears sometimes for days. That, that's where he is now. It's just gone. Elmon went to go look for him. We're both very worried about him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My friend Shay, I find your story very difficult to believe. Oh, Mr. Hearden. Fun. It's fun, Hearden. Mr. Fun, Hearden. I would not joke about this. Here. Yeah. When did you say this was? Uh, well, last week. Ah. Uh, 
Very sad. Ah, well. I'll have to take this as evidence, you know. Yeah, of course. Oh, well. Suppose there's no need for me to wait around no more. Mm. But you'll have to come in to sign some forms. Sure, okay. Tell Mr. Varty I was here. I will. You know, I did tell him it was for their own good. I know. Well, it was nice meeting you. Bye, Miss Jay. JV! JV! Yeah? A guy was just here about a permit. I think he wanted to take the Cubs. But he didn't? Yeah. What did he say? I showed him pictures of the dead Cubs. I think he believed you. I may have stalled him, but I don't know if he was convinced. Dear Mr. Glovo, I am looking for a location to release my two hand-raised leopard cubs. And I believe the size and remoteness of your park will make it an ideal destination. As time is of the essence, Please, could you reply Sam, immediately to, be a part of a very to this project of hand unusual raising two of the cutest orphan leopard cubs after their mother was killed by lions? We now Dear need to find Mr. them a new Richard, home in a wilderness where they will not be threatened by poachers. Ago, they simply cannot be put in the zoo, and I understand you have a farm efforts. large enough to allow them to be I understand to you still have no major predators and was hoping to interest you Bye, in the release Bye. of two young leopards into your reserve. Wunjani! Yo, many are Stevens. So what's happening with the Cubs? Uh, there is a problem. I pay you ten thousand dollars. You tell me you got a problem? The Cubs are dead. The Cubs are dead. The Cubs are what? They were killed by lions. You have to take a look for yourself. What do you want me to do? Dig up their bones and bring them to you? Who are you trying to bullshit, eh? Here. This cub died of mange. And this one here? This is a sub-adult. Look at the canines. These aren't Varty's cubs. Who are you trying to con, pal? You've still got yourself a deal. You better believe it. Oh, this is great. We can put this in with instinctive behavior because it deals with balance and lower center of gravity. We could do a comparison here with Lion. Oh, yeah. Show that they also used to be a tree climbing cat and then as the savannas developed, they went out into the grasslands. Look at him laying his ears back. Oh, yes, look, he's a big boy, isn't he? Oh. Ah, it's one of your shots. <laughs> See? Yeah, I'm impressed. Thank you. Not bad at all. Look at him. <laughs> you like it too, huh? Who is that up there? Who is that? Huh? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, go get him. You go get him. You go get him. Ah. Oh, oh it's great. Oh, this is going to cut together really well. There it comes, Elias. Show me a duvet. Yeah. Pull that table back. Pull that table back. Get away from there. Here. Pull the table back. Oh, right. Oh. 
Hi. Any luck? Oh, no. I think we've lost most of the Mother Leopard footage. Take a look at this. Dear Mr. Vati, your letter I have been received yesterday. Me, I am telling you about the most terrible drought affecting my people now. Dangerous lions there ravaging my cattle. So you now believe in you, my friend. It is quite impossible to release your leopards at this time. Oh, JV, I had no idea it'd be so difficult. What are we going to do? Uh, we've got to try Kenya. It's our only hope. Are you Lester? Upi Camp Vati. Huh? Vati? Do you know where Vati's camp is? Who's looking? Do you know where it is, man? Uh, me. Uh, hmm. We'll be needing a guide. Yeah. That is far. Yeah. That is far. My jeep is old. 63. Uh, tires, oil, hmm? Other half later. <laughs> Not so far. Uh, other half. This way. The van. Hey, Johnny. I hey, got you someone. We're going to look like a little cousin guy. <laughs> I can only imagine what you two are talking about. I don't want to hear it. Tonight, you are eating vegetables. Lester, take me to Barty's camp. We're going to get those cops. Bring the cages! 
Call the zoo! Wenn ich mal gehe, dann gehe ich mal gehen. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Fine, so someone's up there. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Yeah. Hey, let's go. Run, 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 run. Hey, run. Come back. Oh, get back here, you. Get back. We're gonna get caught. Hey, Hold your fire. Stop shooting. Hold your fire. Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Anti poaching. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want this camp? <laughs> You double-crossing bastard! Uh, uh. What happened? Wait, 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 hang on. Just south of Bend, over. 
Copy you. Up! Let's get a better view of the roads. There's Varty! Varty, follow him! DJ, DJ, I've got Varty! Copy, what's his location? Follow the road to be damn! Intercept him!
Run that by me again, please. We've lost 60% of the original negative. In a fire. One of the cubs knocked over a paraffin lamp. And plus this $9,000 invoice for the plane? I thought that was for aerials. There was no other way. The cubs were being taken off to a zoo. I was trying to save them and the project. Here we go again. Dan, please don't shut this down. I'm very sorry, Christine, but this has gone far enough. Judith, come in here, please. I can salvage this project, please. I don't want to give up on it. I told you this uh, Vardy character was a goddamn walking disaster. It's more than just a film, Jack. We're talking about their survival. Oh, please. Dan, don't shut me down. Yes, Judith, I want you to prepare an insurance claim on the Leopard film. Insurance claim? We've got enough grounds for a lawsuit against this guy. Please, Jack. Just stay out of this. Christine will give you all the details. Thank you. Dear Christine, I have safely landed in the Maasai Mara, where we have been welcomed with open arms. This area is a vast expanse of open spaces teeming with game one of Africa's last great wildernesses. Yesterday we filmed a herd of 10,000 wildebeest braving the crocodiles of the Mara River. Wish you could have been here. Missing you, JV. Staying in the Manyata with our Maasai friends and all their goats and cattle. Not exactly the Ritz, but these proud and hospitable people still live in harmony with the environment, sharing the land with Africa's wildlife. The cubs have been up to their usual mischief. Little girl is the only leopard in history that has attacked a Maasai goat and lived to tell the tale. Oh, <laughs> JV, well, I hope this reaches you. Oh, I wish you could have seen Van Heerden's face when he caught up with me. I hate to do this, but I suppose I have to give you the bad news. Dan has canceled the project. There was nothing I could say to change his mind. He's a businessman. He's making a business decision. I have to respect it. I truly am sorry about how everything has turned out. But listen, I do have a little money on my own, and I'm trying my best to do something with the material we have left. I sent you some more stock. Just hope your old camera holds out. Please let me know if there's anything else you need. This is going to be difficult. But I will not give up. Love, Christine.
Dear Christine, I have tragic news about little boy. It all happened so fast. There was nothing we could do. He had wandered off, and you know what an adventurous spirit he always had. It is difficult for all of us. The Maasai said how sorry they were about little boy and how they had respected his courage. But still, they are the Maasai, the great cattlemen of the African plains. And they made it clear this was no place to release little girl and that we must take her someplace else. There are so few great open spaces left in Africa. These last wilderness areas are like shrinking islands, surrounded by a sea of humanity, agriculture and development. To find the real Africa, undeveloped, unspoilt and wild, is almost impossible. But there is one place, and I have been given permission to release her there. Zambia. This is our last chance. This place is better than I ever imagined. It feels like we are the first people to walk this land. The guardians of this untamed wilderness are the deadly tsetse fly and malaria mosquito. People and cattle, the biggest threat to wildlife and to little girl, cannot survive here. Oh, you need a scatula woman. Yeah. Ah, it's a scorpion. Hey, it's a pahamo. It's a cool man. It's gonna sting you. Ah, what's up again? Yeah, I shan't do my best pahamo. Yeah, I'm gonna carry him.
She is no longer our little girl. We can feel her restlessness. Her desire for independence grows stronger every day. She often wanders off alone, exploring her new territory, and seldom follows us back to camp after our long walks. <sighs> ah, she's not coming back, Arma. See you tomorrow. Okay. Sleep well, Arma. Okay, sure. Suddenly, there she was, confident and independent. I felt an enormous sense of relief just seeing her again. She allowed us to follow her back to a warthog kill she had hoisted. She has become quite a skilled hunter, a solitary predator. Every new encounter was a learning experience. Life is never easy on your own. <sighs> Tell me about intelligence species that spends 1.2 million dollars a minute on war, destruction, destroying this fragile planet. A species now that's populated this entire world like a cancer, consuming 80% of its resource, threatening all its life support systems. You know, we make the one critical error. We presume that the Earth is here for us. We actually forget that we share this planet with 30 million other species. I knew this time she would not follow us back and that I might never see her again. She was wild and free to continue the legacy of her mother. That's the boat over there.
Running through.